Hi friends, first of all thank you friends for being in my video. Today we are discussing an important topic in agronomy that is water management. In water management I have already uploaded 3 videos and this is the part 4 of water management and see the video until the end and in the end I will show you how the questions are framed. And let's get into the video. Effective rainfall, dash 10, 1974, that portion of total annual or seasonal rainfall which is useful directly and or indirectly for meeting the crop water needs in crop production at the site where it falls but without pumping is called as effective rainfall. The time interval between recipient of rainwater and its recession by soaking into soil is known as opportunity time. Higher infiltration and permeability rates increases effectively on rainfall. Effective rainfall is directly proportional to the rate of water uptake by the crops. Drum culture technique. This method was developed by Dashten, who is also given the statement of effective rainfall for assessing crop evapotranspiration, percolation, effective and ineffective rainfall of a rice crop simultaneously under the field conditions. Here. As shown in the picture, four drums are taken. In this drum, here the rice field is there 5 meters water depth and these are the rice crops. In the first drum, evapotranspiration is calculated and in the second drum, the roots of the plants are removed. Plants are there without roots. So, in this drum, evaporation is calculated and in the C, evapotranspiration plus percolation both are calculated and the D drum in effective rainfall is calculated. This technique was developed by Dashtain. Scheduling of irrigation to crops. Scientific irrigation scheduling is a technique providing knowledge on correct time and optimum quantity of water application at each irrigation to optimize crop yields with maximum water use efficiency and at the same time ensuring minimum damage to the crops and irrigation scheduling criteria soil water regime feel and appearance method depletion of available soil moisture soil moisture tension climatology cumulative pan evaporation iw by cpe ratio Plant indices. In plant indices, visual symptoms, soil comes sand, mini plot, plant population, growth rate, RWC, plant water potential, canopy temperature, indicator plants, critical growth stages. These are all the important points for scheduling of irrigation to the crops. Soil water regime approach. In this approach, the available soil water held between field capacity and permanent wilting point in the effective crop root zone depth describes in several ways is taken as an index or guide for determining practical irrigation schedules. Different methods of scheduling irrigation following soil moisture regime approach are as follows. Feel and appearance of soil, depletion of the available soil moisture, soil moisture tension. Scheduling of irrigation to crops, potential evaporation, potential evapotranspiration, PET, Penman introduced the concept of PET and he defined it as the amount of water transpired in a unit time by short green crop of uniform height completely covering the ground and never short of water. PET measuring apparatus are lysimeter, cumulative pan evaporation. IW by CPE ratio, Prihar advocated irrigation scheduling on the basis of ratio between the depth of irrigation water and cumulative evaporation from USWB class A pan evaporimeter minus the precipitation since the previous irrigation. Visual plant symptoms. In this method, the visual signs of plants are used and indexed for scheduling irrigation. For instance, Plant wilting, dropping, curling and rolling of leaves in maize is used as indicators for scheduling irrigation. Soil come sand mini plot technique. 
This method is also referred to profile modification technique and is commonly used for scheduling irrigation to crops. Plant population increases in plant population by 1.5 to 2 times that of optimum in some representative spots of 1 meter into 1 meter area in the cropped field alternatively to mini plot technique also serves as a reliable index for scheduling irrigation to crops. Rate of growth. Growth of plant is dependent on turgor which in turn is dependent on favorable soil water balance. Relative water content RWC is equal to fresh weight minus dry weight by target weight minus dry weight. Important question. Which of the following is not a criteria of plant indices for irrigation scheduling? See, already I explained the criteria of plant indices and here asked is not a criteria for irrigation scheduling that is plant population, indicator plants, IW by CP ratio, critical growth stages and canopy temperature and the correct answer is IW by CP ratio. Which of the following is the apparatus used for measurement of evapotranspiration? Hydrometer, diffractometer, anemometer, thermometer and lysimeter and the apparatus used for measurement of evapotranspiration is lysimeter.